Well, today's trip is to Cooperstown, New York. I'm going to be visiting Bill and Barbara Harmon. Its all-American Main Street is surrounded by miles and miles of wooded hillsides. Though the real jewel of Cooperstown has to be nine mile long Otsego Lake. Barbara Harmon's deck looks right out on the lake, and while the views are stunning, the cold wind that comes off the water seems to pass right through her old sliding glass door, almost like it wasn't even there. Kind of a nice house here. Tell me a little bit about this. Have you guys been here a long time? We've been here about 25 years, and the house has been here close to 50, originally built by a shop teacher from the local school. Really? Yeah, and it was a restaurant for a time. Went from a house to a restaurant, and back to a house again. Wow. Yes. Oh, everything's held up pretty well, except for the door here. Looks like it does some need some rot work, going on it? down here. Let's see yeah. how this looks. Oh, yeah, that's time for replacement. This is it also sure just is. one pane of glass. That's right, right, and we're triple pane on the new one, so I'm real happy about that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Should okay, good that'll, and warm. that'll keep things nice and toasty in here. And I imagine that's important because you've got a lot of cold air blowing in off the lake. Cold here. air, a uh -huh. lot of snow. Well, you're dressed to work. I am. Ready to good go? And warm. I'm ready. Okay, let's Looking tear this forward. whole one out, grab some tools, and we'll get going here. Come on. Thanks. This old door, like most, has both a sliding panel and a fixed panel. Our first step is to take out the fixed side by removing two brackets, one at the top, the other at the bottom. With all the screws out, we slide the door to the center and get ready to lift it from the track. Barbara's husband, Bill, a college professor, arrives just in time to lend a hand. That way, if we break it, it's, uh, you know, it's your it's my door. my fault, huh? Just lift the bottom right out. Okay. And then it should drop from the top, and let's just bring it over here. Maybe we can lay it up, lean it up against the railing here. To remove the sliding door, we first pry off a retaining strip, and then the interior door casing. That's it. Okay, that's free. So, Bill, I'll drop Get the top that. of this to you. Is that all right? And now, I'll, I'll, if you want to take it all the way down... And I'll, I'll take this, this end of it here. Get on another side with you. Okay. I think you get to rest. You did all the hard work. Oh, good. With the doors out, we can start on the door frame. We begin by pulling out the nails that have been driven through the exterior trim. Then we remove the threshold and pull the frame away. Pull it down. There we go. Okay. Oh, came. Out with the old. You pull it out. Wow. There we go. Okay. Now remember that dry rot we saw earlier? Well, there's even more down here beneath the old threshold. So we tear out everything that's rotten. Finally, when we've gotten down to solid material, we rebuild. Untreated lumber gets a coat of wood preservative. The rest is already pressure treated. All right, comes our first two by six. Good, you put some preservative on the end, the cut ends of that. I'm gonna tap this in place for okay. a Feel the power, Barbara. Feel oh, the power. Oh, I do, I do. Okay, so that's that's it. I'd say we're out about a half an inch over the whole run here. So let's take this board right here. This is our last two by six. Just Yay. drop that in place. Okay, now on your end, Barbara, I'm going to take two shims, and I'm going to run them in opposite directions like this. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and slip those right under the end, about right here. Just lift the board up a little bit. And push both of those in there. All the way, all the way back. There you go. Now let me just check this. Oh. How could oh. you be more that perfect serious? than that? Okay. So now what we have to do is put a series of shims along here every 12 inches or so to support this all the way across. We insert the rest of our shims, check for level, saw off the protruding ends, and nail the final 2x6 into place. To protect our new framing from water damage, we're going to cover it with thin sheet metal called flashing. We first cover the face of the new framing, then fold the flashing over the top. It's secured with galvanized roofing nails. All right, now this is just gonna be a spacer. We gotta have to make our upper opening here just a little bit lower. Okay, Barbara, you ready? Uh, actually, maybe a little close, further away from my finger. <laughs> you don't want me to no, hit your finger. No, it's not that I don't trust you. <laughs> oh, I see. There you go. Ah, that's better. Replacement doors such as the one we're installing are typically a bit smaller than the original. In this case, our new door is about three quarters of an inch narrower than the old one. So we add a board to the side of the opening to make it slightly narrower. Now this is called a nailing flange. Actually, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is to bend this out 
This is going to do a couple of things. And this is how we're going to actually attach the door to the house and make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. It also provides a weather seal between wow. the door frame and the framing of the house. So once you guys step in here, just grab a hold of that. We bend out the flange along the sides and top of the door frame. Then lean the door assembly against the deck railing for the next step. We are ready to caulk your guns. Bill? Yes, sir. Barbara? Bill, your job is to put a, a 3 8 inch bead of caulk right down the center of this flange right here, okay? Okay. Barbara, yours mm -hmm. is to put a 3 8 inch bead along, sort of form like a, a rectangle about an inch or so in from the outside edge all the way around this, especially on the end right here. Okay. Hey, guys. Thank you. Go for it. The caulk will provide a weather-tight seal between the flange and the framing, the sill, and the threshold. It's also great for other things. Hey, I always say, you got to put a little fun into home improvement. That's right. This sediment will remain Bill and Barbara's little secret, something they'll perhaps recall each time they step inside. Now tip it up very slowly, very slowly. There we go. I'm going to step inside because I want to be sure we're centered. Hold it right there. Hold it. Good, good. Looking great, guys. I hammer a single nail through the flange to hold the door frame in place, while we use a level to make sure the sides are perfectly vertical or plumb. Then the three of us hammer in the rest of the nails. Finally, we replace the door casings just as the chill of a brisk fall evening rolls in off the lake. Well, there we go. You have got a door. We do. A beautiful door. Yeah, three Very panes nice. of glass. That cold air can come right off that lake, hit that glass, bounce right back again. And You're going to we'll be, be cozy. toasty warm. You certainly will. We had quite a job. I was a little concerned when I saw that rotted wood down there. But you've done a nice job. Hey, Good work. It, was, it was teamwork. It come was on, teamwork. It was teamwork. All that hard preparation made say, for uh, well-framed and nice-looking door. What do you say we uh, team up and have some dinner? I'd love to. Okay. Well, that lake wind may be blowing outside, but we've certainly eliminated the wind chill factor in here. A toast to new friends, a cozy home, and a job well done.